another vlog i am so happy because i get to vlog this weekend and i haven't vlogged in literally so long like i was going back on my um like youtube and it has been almost two months it's been like yeah basically two months since i've actually vlogged and it feels weird to pick up the camera but i am just like so happy to be able to vlog this weekend and bring you guys along we are having a super cozy weekend this weekend because the last like three weekends we've been crazy busy with just like family stuff and friend stuff and everything and the next couple weeks are going to be pretty busy too so this is like the one weekend that we're just going to get to chill and do literally nothing and i'm so excited about it um Woke up this morning around 7, laid in bed, listened to 1989 Taylor's version. Um, I also feel like I always vlog when she releases a new album, which is just like so random. Um, but it just worked out that it was this weekend. Um, but yeah, woke up this morning, laid in bed for a bit, listened to that. We stayed up last night actually until 12 to listen to it, which is the first one I've been able to actually stay up for in a long time. So I was really happy about that. Um, and then... This morning I got out of bed. I put a little mask in my hair because I need to wash my hair today. It's like super greasy, but I put like um, my Olaplex treatment in it because I feel like my hair has been feeling really, really dry recently. So put that in. I'll have that in my hair for at least like an hour or so because this morning we are making bread and I'm bringing you guys along on my little sourdough bread journey. I've made bread twice now. This will be my third time and both times it's turned out really good. So I just, I hope that it's going to turn out just as good this time, but I at least will like bring you guys through. I won't like tell you how I'm doing it just because I'm not a pro at all yet. Um, but if in the future ever you want a video, I will give it to you. Um, but this one is just basically like, it's our weekend, but I'm making bread for most of the weekend. So whatever. Um, but yeah, last night, my little starters, this is like my normal starter. And then this is the little thing. It's called, I think it's called a leaven or a levain or something. Basically you have to just like, you can do it two ways. You can either just take from here or you can put it in a different jar. But this guy overflowed this morning. I think I put a clip in. Um, but this is my original starter. This is my OG. This is Steve. I've named him because that's what you're supposed to do. So nice. This is Steve. He's nice and tall. Um, this was where he was last night when I fed him. And then this is him this morning, about six hours later. Exactly. Um, and this guy overflowed. So this is what we're using today to actually make the bread. I just need to clean up the counter a little bit because we didn't really clean up last night. Um, so I'm just going to... Leave Steve there because we're going to make some bread today and then we're also going to make it tomorrow. So I have to feed him again tonight. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean up a little bit here and then we're going to get started on the bread. It's a long process, so it's kind of all day, um, but it's only like a handful of time that you have to actually be home. Um, so there's a couple other things that I kind of wanted to do today, but I mean, if the weather's not having it and I don't really feel like going out, I won't. Um, but I wanted to try and go to the thrift store today, but I just feel like it's just too ambitious for me to go. Like maybe I'll go like next weekend or maybe I'll just go like in November. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, okay. Without enough of me rambling, <laughs> I'm sitting here just like blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, I'm going to clean up a little bit here, put some stuff in the sink, move stuff around, um, and then we will start the bread.
30 second timer. Okay, so I just did my second stretch and fold of the dough. I have to wait 30 minutes in between every time I do that. So I'm just gonna go jump in the shower now because it's been about two hours since I put my hair mask in. So I'm gonna do that. And then once I'm done, I'll be able to go back down, do my next stretch and fold. Then I'll come back upstairs, dry my hair, and then go do my last stretch and fold. Oops. Oh, did I say 30 seconds? I'm at 30 minutes. So the 30 minute timer. <laughs> my bad. There we go. <laughs> Okay, but then I'm gonna do my hair after I'm done all the stretch and folds. But first, I gotta shower. Go, I stay forever if you say the day it is now quarter to 12 um and i can tell because i'm freaking starving <laughs> um yeah i did my hair i just like did the dyson like curl things and it falls out really nice so i always love when i get to do my hair with the dyson because it also just like stays nice for a long time so anyway also my hair is getting so long crazy um but yeah did that did my makeup i did a red lip for 19.89 you have to you have to you know so anyways it's a beautiful day it was raining earlier but now it's really nice out um i finished all my stretch and folds from my bread so she's just resting here for now i will show you Ooh. here she is so she has to sit now for like five to 10 hours and it's like a big difference, but I normally just leave it for, oops. <laughs> I normally just leave it for five hours and it's fine. Um, so just letting her rest, I'll be able to do it around like dinner time, um, like finish it. So we will do that. And then, yeah, but right now, um, I don't really know what to do. I think I'm gonna eat first because I'm kind of starving and I really only had those like pancakes for breakfast and I wasn't even really feeling the pancakes because I was like, oh, I, like I want them. But I was like, I honestly really just want eggs, but I didn't want to eat all the eggs before the weekend because Austin they normally have eggs on the weekend. So I was like, oh, I just won't have them. But anyways, that's that. So I'm going to heat up some of my leftover what is this? These are, oh my gosh, they look disgusting. But they're chicken strips. <laughs> they're like buffalo chicken chicken strips. So I'm gonna heat those up in the air fryer, make them nice and crispy. Um, and then I will probably, honestly, I'll probably just eat them on their own. I don't really have anything else to have with them. Oh, actually I have, perfect. I have like a little bit of lettuce left. So I'm gonna make like a little salad and some of the like Caesar dressing that I make with Greek yogurt. It is so good. I literally don't even like regular Greek or I don't even like regular Caesar salad anymore from like how I make this dressing. It's so good. So I'm gonna do that. And then after that, I need to film because I'm gonna film a reset video because I haven't filmed one in like, I think like two months, maybe even three months. So I wanna film one of those. Um, and kind of get you guys all caught up on everything. Um, yeah, that's 
that's the plan i'm gonna heat up my lunch though first i also cannot stop listening to this like literally i cannot stop listening to this song i don't know what she put in it is it over now like ah I, I can't stop I, I physically cannot stop listening to it um but yeah I was planning on listening to the audiobook of the second book in the Throne of Glass series um, because I listened to the audiobook last week when I was making my bread of Throne of Glass and it was so nice to like just like listen to and make my bread but now that this has come out this just takes priority and I just can't stop so it's fine but okay I'm gonna make dinner I'm gonna stop or lunch I'm gonna stop blah 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 okay <laughs> sorry the Air fryer is going on in the background, but I wanted to show you quickly how I make this um, sauce because it's literally just so good. So anyways, I normally go by measurements. Oh my gosh, <laughs> chaos. <laughs> the dog's barking, the air fryer's going. I'm so sorry. Okay, normally I go by measurements, but just because I'm only making like one portion for myself, I'm just gonna make like a little glass. But normally I make like a big jar of this. So... We'll probably put just this is just for this single portion basically i'm just gonna put like normally it's a cup okay this is gonna be hard for me because i'm gonna get distracted about the fact that i'm not telling you the real measurements and just the mini measurements so normally it's a cup but i'm just putting like maybe two teaspoons in here of greek yogurt and then literally just measure with your heart a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper sorry i realize you can't even see what i'm doing Okay, a little bit of salt, little bit of pepper. Oops, that's a lot of pepper for me. I don't love pepper. A um, little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and it's okay if it's like clumpy, you know, because it's cheese, you know, it's cheese. And then a little bit of lemon. Put too much in if you don't like lemony flavor but like I put extra lemon when I have a Caesar salad normally so I like a lot of lemon and then you just mix like, I'm not claiming that this tastes exactly like Caesar dressing but it is very close I'm gonna taste that to see pretty freaking good to me <laughs> I love it it's so good if I remember <laughs> which is possible I won't I will link the recipe down below that I kind of follow. Um, I just have like a screenshot. So actually maybe I'll just type it out in my, what am I looking for? <laughs> These. Um, I just have a little screenshot. So I'll just like put it in like the measurements in the description down below. But anyway, I'm going to make a little, some little wraps here. I'm going to make two because they're like the little taco wraps. I need to go to the grocery store too. Maybe I will do that tomorrow. Okay, two wraps, take my Caesar dressing. Honestly, even this was like too much to make, but we'll live with it. And the best part is that because it's um, Greek yogurt, it's like you don't feel as guilty. Don't feel guilty about your food, but it's a little bit of a healthier option than like regular salad dressing. Okay, a little bit of shredded lettuce. Wow, I haven't like made food in front of you guys in a long time. <laughs> this feels weird. Okay, a little bit of shredded lettuce and then a little bit of, where did I put my fork? Couple of my little chicken strips that I've made. These actually lasted us so long. We had these two nights in a row for dinner and then plus now I'm having them for lunch. Pretty good. Oh, the only thing that sucks is that I don't have cheese right now. Maybe my mom has some vegan cheese in the fridge. And normally I put a little bit of extra buffalo sauce, but these ones look pretty buffalo-y on their own, so I feel like it'll be okay. Okay. Vegan cheese. And ta-da, there are your spicy buffalo chicken Caesar salad wraps. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna eat these. I'm gonna watch, actually I'm gonna watch Brandon and Heidi's vlog from this morning because they just uploaded their Halloween party vlog from when we went and obviously I was there, but I like to watch the vlog still. So I gotta watch it. 
Truthfully, I already watched it, but I'm going to watch it again so that I can comment now because <laughs> I always watch their vlogs twice because I like to watch it. Excuse me. And then I like to watch it again and like think of the things I want to comment on. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to eat my lunch, have my little, or have my lunch, watch the vlog, and then we will get ready to go upstairs and film. Okay, just finished filming my little reset reflect video. I always get so tired after film filming sit down videos because it's just like constant talking for like 30 minutes straight. <laughs> um, but I wanted to quickly show you guys. We got this in the mail, I want to say like two weeks ago. And we already opened it, but I still wanted to show you guys this cute package that we got from DVC. Um, so this is like your welcome package. And... I was shocked when we got this in the mail because I thought that because we signed up when we were there, they gave us a bunch of stuff, like the backpack. I think like if you saw it in the vlog, um, they gave us like a backpack. They gave us like these little prints of the Riviera. We got some like fun swag. Like we got a bunch of stuff, but we still got this in the mail and I was kind of floored. Like I was like, I did not think that you got this like also, like I thought we already got our gift, but anyways. It's a beautiful white box with gold characters. And then when you open it up, we have already opened this, but you know, it was much nice, nicer presented. And then there's a little sticker. And then at the top says Disney Vacation Club. And then then this is what's inside. Okay, so basically we got this like little package and it just says like welcome home you know go on the app sign up for all your things which we've already done little welcome letter we got more dvc magnets because like i was shocked by this because we already have two so now we each have two more which is fun i think i'm gonna put one on our fridge downstairs um and then we got this which is so sweet <laughs> i want to get this like framed or something it's very cute but it just says What's it say? Bibbidi boppity boo, a piece of magic just for you. Welcome home, Kelly family. And it has this like little embossed Mickey right here. And it says, by authority of this pixie dusted degree, we hereby declare your, you members of Disney Vacation Club from this magical day forward, August 15th, 2023. May all your vacation dreams come true. Oh, so exciting. So we got that. And then it also came with this cute little, because you know these are necessary at Disney. It's a cooling towel, but it's a DVC one. So it says, stay cool year after year, Disney Vacation Club, which is nice. Always love a, a cooling towel. And then we got this cool water bottle. And it's this gold, it's like a swell water bottle, but it's not actually swell branded. But it says, Disney Vacation Club member. And then it has a bunch of the different um hotels and characters on it i love it so this is gonna be like my i gotta wash this <laughs> i don't know why i just smelled it um this is gonna be like my uh i feel like i'm gonna bring this to the parks with us when we go because it's very cute we only got one so i told austin that i would want it but we'll share it obviously but yeah very cute yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because we had opened it and I was like, ah, I'm not vlogging, but I want to show you guys. So fun little package in the mail. All right, but what time is it? It is now 1.35 and let me see if I've gotten everything done that I needed to get done for today. Prep sourdough loaves, film October reset, bake sourdough, which I can't do until tomorrow. I want to do fall thrifting, but I don't think that's going to happen this week and work out sometime this weekend, which probably won't happen today. I'll probably work out tomorrow. Um, now 1.30. I'm going to relax a little because last night I stayed up till like 1 a.m. listening to 1989 and then obviously got up early again this morning. So I'm kind of sleepy. Um, so what I might do is just lay down and possibly read for a bit, but also possibly take a nap. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then we'll see where the day takes us. I mean, my bread's going to be ready in at least two and a half hours for me to like prep it and fold it and all that fun stuff. 
um, but I probably won't do it for another maybe hour or so after that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna take a little, a little snooze. Oh my gosh, clearly I'm tired. <laughs> Hello, it's been a little while. It really hasn't been that long, truly. It's only been like maybe an hour because it's like 2.43 now. Um, I didn't nap, but I did just lay down and like take a minute to just like chill. Um, and I feel better. Um, I'm still a little tired, truly, so I'm actually going to make like a little coffee or something. I actually just might make a hot chocolate. I'm not really in the mood for a coffee. Or maybe I'll make like a half coffee, half hot chocolate. Um, but I'm going to do that. And my bread is like, I think I still have two hours left on it. Maybe an hour and a half. Whoo, baby. She has risen so much already. Um, but I'm going to wait at least a couple more hours uh, before I shape it and do like the final stages before I put it in the fridge before we bake with it tomorrow. My camera battery is going to die. I got to change it. Um, but. I have to make my grocery list for this weekend because I'm either going to go to the grocery store today or tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet, but I kind of want to get out of the house today. So I'm just thinking maybe I'll go to the grocery store today. But I'm going to make my list <laughs> and then go from there. Sorry, I felt the urge to eat this cookie right this second. <laughs> I have gone stir crazy so I'm going to go to the store now so I have my list my meals I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I got my headphones so I can keep listening to Taylor's version <laughs> okay so little change of um the day so went out went to old navy tried on a bunch of stuff at old navy didn't like anything the sun is a little bit too bright right here okay tried on a bunch of stuff at old navy navy didn't like anything so didn't get anything which was good because i didn't really need to buy anything there's just like a couple things i'm looking for but like nothing fit me the way i wanted it to so that's fine but then i go to go to the grocery store and i realize i don't have any bags no bags and I was like, it's not like I just like can like, th like the other day we didn't have bags, but I was like, we're not getting that much stuff. So like we can just throw them in the back of the car, but I needed like a decent amount of stuff. I'm like, I am not, I'm not taking 20 trips to and from the car when I get home. So I ended up coming home. And then when I got home, um, I've literally just been screaming, dancing to 1989. <laughs> um, and that's it. And now it's almost five o'clock it's like eight minutes to five sorry this sun is so bright it's like setting right in the backyard um but yeah it's like eight minutes to five and austin's gonna be on his way home soon um i need to clean up a little bit there's like just a couple bowls for my lunch here and i want to put away the dishes that were drying um and then i need to prep my bread because it's been five hours um, but I'm just going to keep letting it sit because I'm just like not ready to do it yet, but it takes like five to 10 hours before you can do it. So, but she's like doubled, maybe even tripled in size. She's big and smells so freaking good. Like, oh my gosh, literally smells so good. The only thing is that I wish I could bake with it today. And I feel like I've seen people bake with it before the day that they shape them. They just like let it sit on the counter instead of in the fridge but i just i just didn't i just you know i just wanted to make sure that it's you know this one turns out good because i'm making it for our lunches like that's what we like have our bread for is our lunches and our breakfasts 
So I'm making it for our lunches, but then I also am making some for a potluck. So I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. I want to just have like a normal loaf. So anyways, um, but I'm going to quickly do the dishes before Ozzy gets home. And then we're going to have pizza for dinner tonight. We have these like frozen pizzas that PC has come out with recently. And we had them last week for the first time. They were so good. Um, I was actually very happy with them, pleased. Um, but yeah, but anyways, I'm just going to quickly do the dishes. Put my 1989 on. I'm just, I'm, su I'm such a happy girl, okay? I'm so again I realized I had to feed my little starter again tonight and I don't have enough bread for tonight and then also for tomorrow so I had to go to the grocery store and I was so irritated about it but it's fine it is what it is we have groceries and I was like going to put groceries away and then I realized normally I do a grocery haul and I haven't done a grocery haul in forever so I'll show you guys what I got so I got three jalapenos some bananas um, my favorite Greek yogurt, just plain. Some cheese tortellini. Uh, romaine lettuce. Some baby spinach. Two cucumbers. We have two things of cheese. One is medium and one is old because I'm going to try and do inclusions in my bread tomorrow. Um, we have... Some made good bars because they were on sale. I got two things of my unbleached bread flour. And two things of diced tomatoes, white kidney beans, red kidney beans, and black beans. Also got ground turkey, which I've already put in the freezer, and some frozen mango and peaches. And then we got our Fairlife 2% milk for Austin and chocolate milk for both of us. <laughs> but I'm gonna put everything away and then honestly, I'm gonna go lay down because I am exhausted. I'm starting to get really bad cramps because it's that time of the month and I am just like super crampy and my stomach feels tight and bloated and I just wanna go lay down. So I'm gonna put all this away and then I'm gonna go lay down and relax. And that's my plan. Well, first I have to feed this thing. And then I will go lay down and relax. <laughs> Saturday. I'm making my little hot chocolate coffee again because it was so good yesterday. So I'm making that. 
Um, I'm so glad I went to bed early last night and just like relaxed because I was so tired and I was just like, I just like needed to rest. I feel like because I was up late the night before and then I got up early. <laughs> the cat's going crazy. Whoa. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, because I got up early the night before and then, or yeah. I was up late the night before and then I got up early yesterday. I was just exhausted. So we ended up just laying in bed. Awesome played some football. I think it's called Madden. Do you play football on the PlayStation? And I started actually watching this Goosebumps um, show on Disney Plus because I like I'm like really in like I have not been in a fall mood at all this year which is so random for me and rare for me because I love fall and I love Halloween and I just love fall time but this year I have not been feeling it at all honestly I just want Christmas to come really bad which again is not normally like me so I'm just like anyway so I was like well maybe if I watch like a little spooky show I'll be into it and I only got through like one and a half episodes <laughs> before I fell asleep um but so far it's okay it's definitely like a little bit cheesy acting um but sorry if it's loud that I'm just stirring right here sorry um it might be like a little bit cheesy acting but it's it's like decent so far so today is bread making day so I have the two loaves that I put in the fridge last night that have to bake today. Um, and then I'm gonna make two more loaves today. Uh, one of them is gonna go to my potluck at work. Or, well, technically one of these loaves is gonna go to the potluck at work. And then I'm gonna make um, two more. One will be our regular like loaf that we use for like sandwiches for lunches. And then the other one, I'm gonna do a jalapeno cheddar. I'm gonna attempt. Oh, Austin's calling me. Hello. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I look much different. Um, Austin just called me, and he's he's not home right now because he had to go to a meeting in the city today. Well, just this morning, but he like left at like seven. So he's just on his way home now. But while he was on the phone with me, I was like, I gotta get this bread going. So I've already mixed up my dough, my next dough. You guys don't need to see all this again because I'm literally just doing the same stuff I did as yesterday, but my dough is all resting. I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a bit. I forget what I was even talking about because I feel like I was talking about something and now I forget. But I'm gonna clean up the kitchen a bit right now. Um, just put away the dishes from last night. Quickly do a couple dishes we have now. I made some popcorn in my Taylor Swift popcorn bucket <laughs> last night for my movie. Oh, my show. Oh, that's what I was talking about the show, I think. I think I was talking about the show. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean up the kitchen. I'm gonna put that show on now and just kind of like keep watching it because it was pretty, it was okay. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. It's a doom and gloom day, <laughs> excuse me, outside. So perfect day to just like stay in and watch some spooky shows and movies.
she looks beautiful. This side doesn't look as like crusty as the other side does, but it definitely is cooked well. So I'm gonna just do the other one now. I have to take it out of the fridge and prep it. Yeah. Wow, okay, it's been a minute. Um, I know, that's what I said in the store. <laughs> um, breads are here. We've baked both of the breads. Waiting on the other loaf that's currently rising. Actually, let me see how this. Oh, she looks good. She does like three hours at least before I can do that one. But we had a little impromptu uh, shopping trip. Do you want to look at your stuff that you got? Do you want to show what you got? I just got two pairs of jeans. Austin needed jeans. They're already upstairs. Oh, okay. They're just for work. Yeah, Austin needed jeans for work. But we And went... I had a gift card for Mark's. And they were on sale. Buy one, go in free. Mm -hmm. But we went to the store. And I literally said when we walked into Walmart, I was like, oh, we should have went to HomeSense because we want to get another bed for Cooper for in our bedroom because we have like one in every room that we kind of hang out in. He's spoiled. But it's fine. Um... But anyways, we were walking by and we saw these at Walmart and I was like, okay, we kind of have to get these for him because he loves laying on like my squishmallows on my bench upstairs. So I was like, he's going to need this. So it's a little frog dog bed and it's so cute. So we're going to give this to him in a second. I'll show you what else I got quick. Um, I also picked up Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I also renewed my Plum Plus membership, I should add. Um... But Ballad of Songbird and Snakes because Austin and I want to go see the movie and I want to read the book before we go see the movie. So it's coming out. When did you say it comes out? At the end of November? 17th. Yeah. So I'm going to read this before we go, which is exciting. And then I got two pairs of pants that I've been looking for. Um, I'm going to talk more about this in like another video because... I've been, I did a video like cleaning out my closet and talking about like wanting to like revamp my style kind of. So I've been like kind of on the hunt for different items and it just so happened that we found two items that we kind of needed or I wanted, needed. Um, but I got this cute pair of like kind of cargo type of pants. They're like an off white. Um, they're more of a cream rather than a gray. But anyways, I really like them um, and they're a really good length. These are from H&M. And then I got a pair of trousers from Dynamite. And I think a couple of you guys told me that Aritzia had really nice ones. And then when I was looking, the Aritzia ones are really nice, but they're like a little bit more expensive. And then um, I would have had to order them online because they don't like carry the size that I would need 100% in store. And the closest store to me is like 45 minutes away. So anyways, I did some digging. And apparently the ones at Dynamite are basically like very, very similar. So I got the Yasmin pant from Dynamite. And it's just like a really nice trouser. I'm going to need to iron them because they're like a little bit wrinkly. But they're very nice. They're like kind of stretchy. But they fit really, really nice. So I'm really happy about them. Um, but I feel like they'll be nice to like dress up or dress down. The girl in the change room said that they're like really, like they're in like a nice pant to wear. So I'm excited about that. But, okay, we're going to give Koopy his little bed. I'm going to make sure Austin's here because Austin will want to see Koopy with his new bed. Uh, and then we're probably just going to hang out in the living room still. We still have, like, laundry to do. And I'm going to have to do this spread in a couple hours. We're also going to make – I'm going to make chili tonight for dinner. But we actually had burritos while we were out. So I feel like we won't have, like, a huge dinner tonight, honestly. So we might just wait until tomorrow to have the chili. But I'll at least make it today because I took the meat out. Um, but, yeah, we're going to sit down here. We're watching that Goosebumps show and it's actually really good. So if you've been interested to try it out, I would recommend. It's really not scary. Like it's not like, like Austin does not like scary stuff at all. And he's like been enjoying it. It's more like mystery kind of. So it gives me like early Pretty Little Liars vibes almost. But anyways, okay, I'm going to give Koopy his new bed. Let's see where Austin is. We gotta film this. He's gonna be so cute. Okay, Koopy. Don't eat him. He's your bed. Go in your bed, Cooper. In your bed. It's like a little bit small for him, I feel. He's just sniffing. He just wants to test it out first. He says, mm, yeah, I could work with this. Is it too small, Koopy? It has so many smells. Lay down, buddy. Oh, that's cute. You like it? Do you like that new bed of yours? Do you like it? 
Is he cute? Put your head down, right on there. Right there, put your head down. Why are you so hot? You need some water? Yeah, let him. That's so nice. Do you like it? I think it's a good size. It like looks a little small, but I feel like he curls up anyway, so. Nice. Cute success.